Hey everyone, today let's take a look at the loaded Kanthaka longboard. This is an awesome longboard. I'll show you around the board, show you some features, tell you some specs, and give you a good idea of what this board is all about. Before I get started, you can hit the subscribe button if you're interested in my videos. Also, you can like me on Facebook, and there's a link in the description below for you to do that. I'd like to thank Maui Nick's Surf Shop in Daytona Beach, Florida for allowing me to come and review this board. Maui Nick's has a huge selection of longboards, surfboards, skateboards, and just about any beach-related product you can think of. So here it is, the Kinthaka. A really cool free ride and freestyle board made by Loaded. Let's take a closer look at some of the specs. The deck is 36 inches long and 8.6 to 5 inches wide. It's got a 17.5 inch wheelbase and the deck itself weighs 3.7 pounds. This particular board came complete with orangutan wheels and Paris trucks, which is a nice combination, but you can buy the deck by itself and outfit it how you'd like. The board's got a rocker profile, and what that means is it curves up on the edges just like that. And what the rocker profile does is it cradles your feet and lowers your center of gravity, and you want your feet cradled so you can perform the tricks without your feet sliding out, and you want your lower of center of gravity so you can get your slides down better and get up to higher speeds without wobbling around. You've got some defined wheel flares here, and it's really a prominent feature on the board. The wheel flares allow you not to get wheel bite, and you really don't want wheel bite when you're doing anything like tricks or downhill riding. In the Kinthaka, it's pretty much impossible to get wheel bite. You've got a slight concave shape of the deck, which will lower your center of gravity, and that will improve your slides and your stability. The Kinthaka is completely symmetrical, and that's awesome for shove it style tricks, and it really adds to the diversity of tricks that you can do when there's no defined front or back of the longboard. You've got both nose and tail kicks on the Kinthaka, and really, at first glance, if you just look at it really fast, it looks like a normal skateboard almost, and they wanted to add those nose and tail kicks to really diversify the tricks that you can do, and it, it really improves the freestyle aspect of the board because you can do so many tricks with the kicktails. The flex of the board is pretty stiff, but that's what you want in a free ride style board. And you want it stiff so you can do tricks. Loaded describes the flex as stiff, but just enough flex to smooth out the bumps in the road. The Kinthaka has nearly full grip tape with the exception of the two small designs near the truck mounts and they add a little touch to it. And you really want the full grip tape because that provides you with maximum grip when you're doing your freestyle riding. The board is made of bamboo, which is a very durable and strong wood. Loaded has also added to both kicktails a small portion on it. They've added carbon fiber, which will improve the abrasive resistance as well as the strength of the kicktails. The Kinthaka is really a unique and diverse board made by Loaded. It's such a versatile board because you can really use it for anything. You know, you can use it for cruising, uh, riding around the streets, going down some smaller type hills. But where it really shines is free riding. And you know, you can you can ride this around, ollie up some curves, take it to the skate park, and uh, it's really a cool board. Okay everyone, that's all I got for the Loaded Kanthaka. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep an eye out for my new reviews soon to come. Don't forget to subscribe and like me on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.